Dear students, good morning. Greetings from IIT Tirupati. Welcome to online course on Advanced Digital Signal Processing and Analysis. This short video introduces the course and gives an overview of this series of lectures on Advanced Digital Signal Processing and Analysis. I am Dr. Ramakrishna Gurthi, Associate Professor and Faculty in Electrical Engineering Department, IIT Tirupati. This course can be offered to electrical engineering, electrical and electronics engineering or electronics and communication engineering students in their third year or fourth year. The essential prerequisite for the course is to have an understanding of signals and systems and familiarity with continuous time Fourier series and transforms. So this can also be offered as a uh, basic course for MTech program in related disciplines. This course has nine modules. Essentially uh, building upon these signals and systems, we will see in this course how we analyze and how the signal processing happens in discrete time signals and systems. This course essentially introduces the signal processing concepts and provides a thorough analysis on the techniques and tools used for signal processing. The course starts with an introductory module with course outline and giving an uh, overview of the applications it can uh, these techniques can be applied for subsequently we will revise the concepts that are studied in signals and systems with special attention to the developments of the subsequent techniques in signal processing Discrete time Fourier transform will be discussed with good number of examples to see how the discrete time Fourier transform is a very effective tool in analyzing signals and also the systems and together both of them together. Building upon D DTFT for Im increasing the scope of the signals on which we can apply and also on the systems which we can analyze, we introduce jet transforms and that gives an overview of handling the discrete time systems effectively. Properties of the discrete time for a transform and jet transform will be discussed. And there is a good content that is spent on sampling and reconstruction. This enables us to see the implications of con sampling the continuous time signal in the frequency domain and their implication on the design of systems. We will see their sampling rate conversion, upsampling, both upsampling and downsampling or inter interpolation and decimation techniques and also we will see fractional sampling rate conversion techniques. Subsequently, given the understanding of the discrete time Fourier transform and the sampling, we will move on to the discussion on discrete time Fourier series and discrete time Fourier transform. These will enable us to apply many of the learned techniques in dis discrete time signal processing through programming. So discrete time Fourier transform, the discrete Fourier transform can be seen as the essence of the discrete time signal processing for the application in many of the computing techniques. We will analyze the systems using the jet transform and the representation of the systems through their structures 
we will also see the frequency domain analysis of the discrete time systems using uh, with the land techniques of discrete time Fourier transform discrete Fourier transform we will see there the effect of linear phase and also minimum phase and all pass decomposition and related applications in this course some of the advanced signal processing techniques are considered in addition to introducing the basic techniques of signal processing with thorough understanding filter design especially the filter design by windowing FAR filter design by windowing will be discussed to understand how the learned techniques of analyzing the systems and signals together is helpful in designing the systems or developing the signal processing techniques through design of systems. The course concludes with a discussion on time frequency analysis giving a understanding on the short time for a transform. Course overall has 9 modules and spans over 50 lectures. The references used for this course are here mainly Oppenham and Schaeffer discrete time signal processing book is used as a guiding textbook. Most of the flow of the course goes in the same direction as suggested by the book. However, at each of the uh, in discussion of each of the topics, there are few intuitions that are drawn from other references and understanding. Book by Provokis and Monolakis can also help in understanding some of the uh, concepts that are discussed in this course. You are also encouraged to refer SK Mitra's Digital Signal Processing textbook. There are also few of the video lectures available. However, the current course is designed in such a way that it chips from the basics that are known in signals and systems and builds on the digital signal processing techniques and analysis of uh, signals and systems. Subsequently move on to a advanced signal processing topics like multi-rate signal processing, FIR filter design and time frequency analysis. This can be considered as a bridge course between the undergrad uh, course on signals and systems and the postgraduate courses on signal processing. Thank you for your attention. You are welcome for any comments and suggestions. Thank you.